Buxton-born musician has released his debut album, Songs of the Daft. Mick Lampard, a.k.a. Paperboy, popped into the High Peak Radio studio to tell us more. Originally, the title track, Much Travelled Man, is about a good friend of mine, Stan. And after I'd written one track and then a second track, and he suggested that they had a blues feeling to them, and he said I really should adopt a, a blues pseudonym like Sonny Boy Williams or Howling Wolf, perhaps. So I had a good think about what would be relevant to me. And because my, my father ran a wholesale news agents business for many years in Buxton, I thought, well, there's a good one, Paperboy. And I thought, Paperboy Lampard at first, and then I thought, no, just Paperboy. So anyway, Stan gave it the tick of approval, and uh, and that became it, really. Yeah, brilliant. It's great. It's got that kind of like local link as well. Um, yeah. And that's the thing with the whole of this album. There's lots of tracks that kind of relate to people and places around the high peak. There, there are indeed. And, uh, of course, the first one about Stan, he's a local guy, and uh, that came about when we were travelling through South Africa together at, uh, uh, for one of the we just climbed Mount Kilimanjaro I think I might have got altitude sickness or something and uh, the next couple of days I was inspired to write a song about Stan so a local guy there's another song in there called When Zuka Sings the Blues and that's a true tale of a real character from Buxton back when I was around 17 years old who was uh, who, who sang the blues in the pubs after he'd had a few sherbets so he certainly came to my mind as somebody that you could write a good blues song about and the, another relevant song is a song called Fleet Street Heroes which is a tribute to my dad Eddie and my uncle Ron who ran F.E. Lampard and Son news agents for many many years in town they became legends in the town because they seem to be omnipresent so I've written a personal tribute to their efforts and uh, and that's another very relevant song to the area. Brilliant. And, um, and you're from Buxton yourself, aren't yeah, you? Originally? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but lived in Buxton from 56, 1956 to 1983 and before I emigrated to Australia. Um, the other thing that I think is exciting about this album is it's all from you. All the music and ev- everything. How's yeah. it all been put together? Well, you're right. It's every aspect from the, 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 the songwriting, the, uh, the music and the, the playing of all the instruments has been done by myself. Well, it, it just started off as something on guitar, then a bit of backing vocal. And uh, my daughter, Sharon, uh, is the only other person that's involved. She's got a she's got a great voice, so I thought I'd take advantage of that. So yeah, uh, it was. Um, it started off just one song, but then after you'd put the guitar down, it needed a bass line. Then it needed a drum track, and uh, slowly but surely, I would build all those together in my little studio. And and along the way, I was learning different things. So um, that's how each of the songs has come together, really. And so in the album, you don't just focus on sort of books and, and areas around the high peak, because obviously you emigrated to Australia. Sure. And um, so that must play into it quite. A bit. Yes, it has. There's a song on there called Keating on the Box, and that's uh, a tongue in cheek, slightly irreverent view of Australian politics. Paul Keating was the Prime Minister in Australia for quite a few years. He had a certain style. I watched a, a TV interview with him, and it reminded me of what he was like when he was a Member of Parliament and when he was in the House. And I just had to write a song about it, and uh, that came very quickly, that song. And uh, So that's an Australianism. And the very last track is a tribute to uh, one of the other loves of my life, England football. And uh, I wrote a song called The Mighty England, as a, uh, the idea being it would be an anthem for the terraces. So that the, becomes the last track of the album. And so if people are interested in um, having a listen or finding out more about you, how do they go about doing that? OK, well, after I built all this and put it together, I decided it obviously needed a platform. So I, uh, I've had it released to all the major outlets. It's on iTunes, it's on Amazon. So if anybody, as everybody is today, is uh, Google savvy, if they just put in to Google Paperboy and Songs of the Daft, you'll find it's available uh, on iTunes and on many other platforms. That is the best way to get hold of the... Uh, of the album to download it in the modern way and so I would recommend that they just do a Google search for it. From there you'll see that I have my own website and Facebook page, another way of just putting Paperboy into Facebook which may be very popular with people and that's another way of getting, to be able to drill down to the site where you can read more about it and actually uh, download the album if you wanted to. And so now we're going to play um, the first track off the album, can you tell us a bit about it? Yeah, this is uh, Much Travelled Man, this is the tribute to my mate Stan who happened to be the best man at my wedding and we met up again as we have done routinely over the years for climbing Mount Kilimanjaro back in 2010 and after I'd done that we we went off to watch the World Cup and one particular day we were on a, a Greyhound bus It had shot suspension. I couldn't sleep on this bus, but my mate Stan, the much-travelled man, was lay horizontal, he could sleep easily. And I thought, hmm, it must be because he's much better travelled than I am because he had seen the world. There's the name. (laughs) 
I'm traveling on a greyhound where the lion sleeps tonight. The stars are up there somewhere.